Well, I wouldn't speak about default. I think that the level of Greece debt is going to be unsustainable, even if they do in what's in the IMF program, 160% of GDP in a year or so. And therefore, uh, instead of default, we need an orderly restructuring of the public debt of Greece. That is something very different from default. And it's something that has been done successfully in many countries that were in trouble, from Pakistan to Ukraine to Uruguay to the Dominican Republic. So you do an orderly exchange of old bonds for new bonds with the same face value. You push maturities out. You reduce the interest rate and the coupon below market rates. And that's not a default that has been done successfully. It doesn't reduce the face value of the bonds, and therefore banks and other institutions don't have to absorb losses for the time being and can be done orderly. So in my view, the views of the European Central Bank and other policymakers who say it's going to be a disaster, contagion, collapse of the Greek financial system are utterly wrong. Well, it's a political decision, first of all, of whether you know, Greece should receive a huge amount of additional official money next year because they're not going to have market access and they have a huge financing gap of 30, 40 billion euros. So either you give them lots of new money, and that, in my view, is a mistake, or you do an orderly debt restructuring. So anything that has to be done in one direction or the other one, another big bailout as opposed to a bail-in of private creditors has to be decided in the next uh, two or three months so that you have at least uh, six months, for example, in the case of a debt restructuring to implement it because by the spring of next year, Greece has to regain market access or if it doesn't, needs uh, financing. Why it is a mistake to, to lend more money to, to, to Greece? First of all, um, there is a moral hazard problem. You're bailing out all the private creditors. They don't take any losses. Two, since Greece is not going to regain market access for many years, eventually the entire public debt of Greece will have to be taken over by the official sector, and all the flow deficits of Greece will have to be financed. So if you look at the math, you see that the current program is 110 billion euros, but you're going to need another two to 300 billion euros of additional official support to buy up the entire 300 billion plus of stock of current Greek debt and then to finance another 100 billion euro plus of flow deficits that Greece is going to have in the next few years. So to me that looks like the mother of all bailouts and the mother of all the moral hazard plays.